Well, this is an idea, now isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna have to maybe take a few chill pills before diving into this topic because upon seeing the initial idea pop up on my timeline, I read the article, I looked at all the tweets that were being made, I had to kind of take a step back because I was kind of laughing a little bit. Yeah, this is a funny topic, and it's one that I think a lot of Canadians fans upon seeing might have been like, okay, really, what? Nah, come on, man, why? Why are we bringing this up? Why are we talking about this? Well, let's go over why we're talking about this and what exactly the topic even is in the first place. So, we had ourselves an article on Montreal Hockey Now from a few days ago published by Marc Dumont. Canadian's mailbag, Denis Gorionov's usage, potential UFAs, and injury woes. As Marc Dumont usually does, he goes out there and answers a few questions from Canadian's fans on Twitter as to just random stuff. He asks it on Twitter, and he's like, oh, whatever questions you have, leave it in the replies, and then he responds on the article. Well, take a look at this. A few days ago, on March 20th, you had yourselves Hockey Night in Montreal. Ask Marc Dumont, can you see the Habs dipping into the UFA pool this summer? The link in the description will lead you to the full article, so you can go ahead and look at all the things that Dumont ends up responding to. But this UFA question is the one that inspired this video. Dumont writes this, I don't foresee the Canadians making a big splash in the UFA market, but I do think they want to add more shooting talent to the lineup as they did with Gurionov. A player like Alex Dabrinkat or Max Pacioretty would fit the bill, though the former would certainly be more expensive to sign than the latter. I know things ended poorly with Pacioretty in Montreal, but that was a different era with different teammates. If Pacioretty is willing to sign a reasonable deal, I'd look into bringing him back into the mix. With a clean bill of health, of course. Max Pacioretty, ladies and gentlemen, is the former Montreal Canadiens captain. He's 34 years old, 6'2", 216, a left-handed shot, signed till the end of this season, making $7 million a year. Now, Pacioretty has been a pretty good and consistent point producer for a long time in the National Hockey League. This was capped off by a 67-point year as the Canadiens captain back in 16-17, where he had 35 goals and 32 assists. He kind of fell off a little bit afterwards and then got traded to the Golden Knights, for a package that included Thomas Tatar, a draft pick that was eventually traded away to become Matthias Norlander, and, of course, current Canadiens captain Nick Suzuki. Pacioretty had himself a pretty good career with the Golden Knights getting 66 points in 71 games played in 2019-20, but eventually was traded over to the Carolina Hurricanes after a point-per-game season in 21-22. Now, he had been slowed down by injuries up to this point, and even though he had 37 points in 39 games played with the Golden Knights last year, he still found himself out and about, shipped out to Carolina. And, to be fair, his point-per-game number with the Hurricanes was pretty good too, it's just his overall health wasn't at its peak, so he only played five games. He had three goals in those five games, but still. The sample size was not great, and he's been out for the majority of the year, so for Pacioretty, this really was just a very unfortunate acquisition for Carolina when you consider what else happened with this team. Pacioretty is out, Svechnikov is out now too, so yeah, it's very bad for Carolina at this point because that team's a wagon, and had they just had a full healthy roster, even Jake Gardner add him into the mix too, and you have yourselves a projection that says, damn, this season was really good for Carolina, what more if they were fully healthy for the entire year and heading into the postseason? But either way, Marc Dumont brings up this Pacioretty to Montreal thing, and it kind of got Habs fans on Twitter asking the question as to whether or not this was actually worth it. Habs Fan TV made a Twitter post of this graphic Dupont wonders if Max Pacioretty could be a good fit for the Canadians this summer. Now, his name is not Dupont, it's Dumont. So, the person that made the graphic, I believe this is Puck Empire on Instagram? Yeah, it's those guys. They always make pretty good posts talking about rumors and whatnot, but this graphic was posted onto Twitter. Bro, what? And then you have Marc Dumont actually replying, saying, Am I Marc Dupont? And then the reply is, Yeah, I was wondering that too. Dumont says, I did mention this idea in a Habs mailbag. It's worth looking into if he's cheap. The Habs desperately need goal-scoring talent. Without leadership responsibilities and with a clean bill of health, it might be a decent idea. 
Might is being the operative term here. I was just thinking out loud, to be honest. Habsfan TV says, As Mark Bergevin told us, sometimes the page has turned. And for Pacioretty, with two Achilles injuries in a row, he just wouldn't make sense at the moment, in my opinion, for this rebuild. Dumont says, yeah, the clean bill of health is the real sticking point. The rest of the stuff is all drama, and most people are responding emotionally, which I understand. But healthy, he could help this team, no doubt about it. The Habs need shooters desperately. And then you have a few other replies like Jordan saying, I highly doubt he would want to come back anyway. Dumont replies, I honestly wouldn't be too quick to assume that's the case. Just saying. And so, this is really the thing. Dumont lays it out pretty nicely, but just to reiterate, there are a number of factors that need to go right in order for Pacioretty to probably re-sign a contract with the Canadians. There are three things here, pretty much. Firstly, the guy's gotta be healthy. Plain and simple. Multiple injuries in a row, and a whole bunch of time off in the past few years. Not to mention the fact that Pacioretty is 34 years old, so it's not like he's getting any younger, it's not like his body is getting stronger, he's becoming more fragile as he gets older. And that's a really bad thing to say about a human being, but like, you can't really go out there and project somebody who's had this level of injury to the point where, okay, yeah, we're 100% guaranteeing he'll be okay next year. It's not a guarantee, it's probably 50-50 at best that he'll be good enough to go at the start of next season, and with him being a free agent, it leads into the second thing, which is Pacioretty's gonna have to want to sign here in the first place. Or here, I say that as if I'm in Montreal, but I'm not, I'm in Vancouver, as I always have been. But Pacioretty would need to want to go back to Montreal, and that's something that you can't even really guarantee either. That's a 50-50 in and of itself. Would he want to go to a rebuilding team at 34 years old? He's playing on Vegas, which has been a pretty good cup contender the past little while. You've got Carolina, he's on right now, who are one of the best teams in the NHL. And he's sidelined for the year. Do you think he's going to want to take this opportunity and re-sign with a Carolina team at cheap? Or would he want to go to a rebuilding team like the Canadiens? Where he has history, where he knows the media, where he knows the fans, where everybody knows what happened here and technically play a role sort of below Nick Suzuki, whom he was traded for. Okay, maybe that last point isn't really one that's worth bringing up, but he's got to want to come here too. And furthermore, the third thing, the Canadians would have to want Pacioretty on their radar as well. And just based off of the patterns of Kent Hughes and what this team has done in the past few months, I don't know if they'd be willing to shell out any significant term or money to a guy like Pacioretty. We've seen the Habs take advantage of their cap situation. They've had the contracts that were big. They've taken on this third-party role once in a while. And you have some guys that are expiring, right? Like Sean Monaghan doesn't have a contract for next season. You don't have contracts for Chris Tierney. You're going to have to re-sign Gurionov, though. And Drew he's going to be leaving. So there's going to be room. It's just, do the Canadians want to fill out the rest of their lineup with older veterans that they're probably not going to have too much value out of in the long term? If for Pacioretty, you want to say, okay, we can sign Pacioretty, go the Dadanov route with him play him up, maybe give him some minutes, maybe he scores some goals, and then we trade him at the deadline to some other team at 50% retained. Maybe that works. Maybe. But then again, Pacioretty himself would have to want to do this, and I don't know if that's the more guaranteed scenario. Plus the fact that his health has to be okay, and that's not guaranteed either. There are too many extenuating circumstances that need to go right in order for this to go right. So for Marc Dumont, I get it. It's a good idea. In theory, it makes sense. But... Just practically, I'm not too sure if it's really projectable, and furthermore, there's the entire element of fan emotion that needs to get involved here too. Oh, why would we get Pacioretty? Why would they want to get him? Why would they want him to come back? Why would he want to come back? And, you know, that adds an entire other layer of complexity to the situation. So either way, you can let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about this idea? Pacioretty back to Montreal for 2023-2024, and maybe even a little bit longer. The article will be linked in the description. Big shout out over to Mark Dumont who wrote the piece and who brought the idea up into the mainstream. But let me know your thoughts either way in the comment section below. Patch you ready to the Habs, yay or nay. If he comes over to Montreal, who does he play with? Do you want to get things going in some sort of a funny way? Just have Suzuki, Caulfield, and Pacioretty on a line just because? Just because it would be funny? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this. Vrishaj Rolls 99. And... Bye.